morning. Late morning. Happy late morning. <laughs> we got up and had us some breakfast. We're still over here. We did not float away overnight. And we're gonna go back over the island again. Captain's Log, February 12th, 2022. What are you doing? I should find you a piece of wood. A piece of wood? Piece of wood. <laughs> Look at that split right there. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Poor goat. It's split right here too. Oh yeah. It's a knife sharpener. Just a bunch of random junk on this rainbow. Yeah. What you see in there? Big ass hole in the bottom. Hole? Yeah. Oh, there's a hole on the side? Oh, no, it's a reflection on the top. Oh. Now you want to I want to go look at the tidal pools again. Mm, I'm going to go around the rocks. I could just see me slipping, falling. Is that a meteorite? Meteorite rock? Is it heavy? It's not heavy enough, I think it's coal. Coal? Light. I find a bunch of metal here. Yeah. It must be an old ship or something broken up. Yeah, I was finding a bunch yesterday too. Something was here at one time. Yeah. That's definitely a piece of steel. Yeah. And I found a pretty big chunk yesterday too. Yeah. A lot of little fish in this rock. I know, I was just looking at them. What was about to happen now was completely unexpected. I heard a bit of commotion that caught my attention. Somebody was trying to get our attention from the sandbar. Huh? You did you just drop something? What's going on? What happened? What? What's going on? What? Whose boat? Our boat. Ours? Yeah. Oh shoot! Crap, we're, we're dragging. Apparently our boat had come unhooked from the bottom and was dragging down the channel with the current. Oh no. We weren't that far back. We were like up here. This is not good. It is dragon. Yeah, I think so. Okay. 
I, it's hard to tell, but we weren't that far back. My boat's floating away. <laughs> yeah. You can't go too far. We've been here for like over 24 hours, and now all of a sudden it wants to get unhooked. Right? I guess you didn't like that spot. Let's just check it out anyways, and we'll come back. Almost looks like she's still moving, but I don't know. I can't tell. I mean, it looks like it's hooked. Treasure Times decided she didn't like this spot. I'm gonna move really quick. This could have been bad. It's a good thing someone was there to tell us we were dragging. It wasn't that likely that we would start dragging since we've been anchored in the same spot for over 24 hours and we've had several tidal shifts. This was indeed an unexpected event. Boat ownership will definitely keep you on your toes, and some days more than others. Okay, we're hooked now. Hopefully, Treasure Times will behave herself now. Bad boat. Bad boat, bad boat. What are you gonna do? <laughs> bad boat, right bad here. boat. Huh? Better stay right there than what you got here. I know. Stay. <laughs> I bet we could get right up over there. Don't don't hit that stone crab pot there. See it? That's a pot. Oh yeah, we can get right up in there now. <laughs> I feel like I already did this once today. Right here. It might be slippery over here. It's a little slippery. It's kind of muddy and slippery here. We've been to Molasses Key several times now, but I've never taken the time to stop and smell the roses. Or rather, stop and drop a camera into a tidal pool filled with fish and snails. There's something incredibly addicting about watching a time lapse of thousands of snails and hermit crabs scurrying about. It's sad to think the strong waves from the next hurricane will wash all these sea creatures off the rocks, but somehow they always manage to find their way back. It amazes me how much action takes place on a couple of tiny islands. The Molasses Key Islands are privately owned. I recently had the pleasure of meeting the owner, residing at a houseboat on the Eastern Island. She informed me that they allow visitors on the Western Island, which is the island we're at now, as long as everyone keeps their distance from the Eastern Island so they can have some privacy. I thanked her for her generosity, and we parted ways as she wished us well and hoped we would enjoy the island. And we did. I like that we got a bimini on this thing. Yeah. I thought you drifted over. <laughs> Cause Dude. I walked over there and then I was like, where'd he go? <laughs> I kept hearing more people show up, so I just moved down. Yeah. At lunchtime. Maybe we could do some you burn some donuts <laughs> on our way back. <laughs> He's wearing my shoes. I got 
got no shoes. <laughs> The winters here are windy and unpredictable. We miss those mild days of summer, and they're coming soon. We are thankful the owners of the islands allow us and many others to enjoy spending the day here. We are especially thankful since this place seems to be pretty calm, even when the weather is not the greatest. Until summer gets a bit closer, I'm sure we will be spending many more days here. And if this video happens to make its way back to the owners, thank you.